with our commercial teams, we have tried to set up a program which priority number one fulfills the objective of achieving these hours as quickly as possible so that we can get the type certification. But we also want to give the opportunity to our commercial teams to uh, show the airplane when it's uh, in the different cities. There have been uh, long proving flights, which have been longer than this, but certainly this is the furthest distance we've been from uh, Toulouse. So this is the real proof that the aeroplane will work uh, as the customers will use it. And it may sound a small thing, but the, within the operational life of the aircraft, the crew rest is extremely important uh, because getting rest on a 12, 15 hour flight is an extremely important part of the safety of the flight. Just over one year ago, uh, we were uh, making the first flight, the SV-50. This afternoon, uh, we took off with the MSN-5 on the second route proving, and there were all four other SV-50 around us, showing the, how fast the progress has been over one year. There are several crews involved in this trip too, but we, as a, as a four, the four pilots here, we get uh, about one day off in uh, Hong Kong, then we take the aircraft to Singapore. We get a day off in Singapore, bring it back to Hong Kong, one day off and then back to Toulouse. So it's, it's very typical of an airline uh, roster that, the, that I used to do in, uh, with, when I was in my airline companies. During this route proving, we're going to do many trips back and forth between Hong Kong and Singapore. One of the uh, results and goal we'll get out of this is to go out of hot and humid environments, go into cruise, cold soak the aircraft, land back in a humid environment, do the quickest turnaround and come back. So we're going to do that eight times. The idea is to fly around the world, try and put the aircraft close to uh, airline operating conditions as possible. So very much uh, focusing on typical airline sectors, um, using um, airline crews and using trying to stick to a schedule just like any uh, uh, regular airline world. Um, so uh, with um, scheduled turnarounds, uh, that kind of thing. All around the world you gotta I think it's been a great experience so far. You know, it, it, in the planning team, we've been doing a lot of number crunching and analysis on this plane for the last few years. And then to actually fly the plane itself is just a great experience. But you know, it's been a smooth ride, uh, quiet, very spacious cabin. So all good stuff so far. All the different functions within the airline are actually interested in seeing, feeling, touching, experiencing the A350. And when they come in measuring, looking, opening, closing, they're really out trying to get a feel for what the real aircraft is like compared to what they've seen so far, which has all been uh, paper, basically. It's just an evolutionary step for them. I think the important thing is just uh, how much of an Airbus it is. It's uh, just a step up from where we've been, but an Airbus pilot should be able to slip straight into this aircraft very simply and uh, Cathay Pacific is unique and we will be uh, operating the 350 and the 330 as a common fleet. And the Airbus A350 is the next set of technology for Cathay Pacific. One, two, three, jump! Yeah! Depuis les premiers vols de cet avion, finalement il a fait une dizaine de vols avant de partir en route proving. Il est relativement mature puisqu'on a réussi à effectuer l'ensemble des étapes qui ont été prévues en temps et en heure. On est vraiment dans l'étape finale d'un avion qui va partir en airline. Now there will be a very short uh, turnaround in Toulouse, about one, uh, one day, in order to prepare the aircraft for the third trip that is going to take place uh, starting from Sunday. 
and in Australia and afterwards uh, going to the South America.